We've got an update for you guys. You may remember the Syrian refugee who was tripped by that crazy Hungarian camera woman. Well, he's been offered a job at a school for soccer coaches in Spain. They're being welcomed to Spain after the, the story made huge headlines all over the world. So Mr. Abdul Mohsen and his sons uh, were invited to Spain. He's extremely uh, happy. He said, I love you. I love Madrid. Thank you all. This is very important for my life. And it really is. And I, I think it's really cool that Spain did this gesture. So he and his sons, they actually made it to Germany, okay? Um, what we saw was them crossing the border right from Serbia into Hungary. Um, Unfortunately, uh, I should say, he did make it to Germany. A lot of people got stuck. Um, they, didn't, they weren't able to cross. But he ended up making it to Germany. And then once this story made headlines and people found out that this guy was a soccer coach back in Syria, he was invited to Spain where he's going to get asylum now. They're processing everything. They gave him an apartment. They set him up with a potential job. He has to learn Spanish. And he's kind of set for life now. I mean, if, if, if he does everything that um, they've agreed upon. So... It's really cool to see Spain do something like this. I know it's one person out of hundreds of thousands, but at the same time, though, I think, you know, this is just one small story, and, and it's showing us that, you know, these people that are coming from Syria, they're not, they're not, oh, okay, first off, I want to talk about, you know, on the right in Europe, a lot of the time, you hear about, you know, there's concerns, you know, there's too many refugees coming, we can't handle them, we don't want the Islamization of, of Europe, these people could be terrorists. Hold on. The vast majority of these hundreds of thousands of people are coming are dentists, doctors, soccer coaches, uh, restaurant owners, shop owners, whatever, engineers. The list goes on. They're normal people. Okay, We look at them like they're refugees, and that's all we see when we look at these images that we see on the news. Oh my god, all these refugees. But these are people who had homes, families, jobs back home. We tend to forget about that. So the fact that the, this school kind of opened their arms and said, we, we found out that this guy's a soccer coach, we showed solidarity because we are colleagues. And I think that's a huge gesture, and it's very nice of them. What do you think, Margaret? I think that um, he's really lucky that he got kicked because we're all talking about it. I right. mean, you and I covered this story when it happened. And I bet that woman or, you know, the people involved that are trying to stop migrants, I wonder if she's kicking herself now for bringing well, she some, is. You know, attention to this because she actually helped this man that she was trying to hurt. And you're right. He is one face. He's one person in this mess of hundreds of thousands of people needing placement. But it's good for him. It's good for his children. And way to go, Spain, for stepping up. Yeah, way to go. Spain and Germany as well for taking in all these refugees. But you're right. She, I'm sure she is definitely kicking herself because she did lose her job. There's like this Facebook page with... I don't know how many likes now. I, I saw so it when hated. it just started. Everybody she's hated. Her. Everyone is talking about how horrible she is. Well, she is horrible. She's sitting there with a camera kicking people on the ground. Whether, whether or not she wanted to get a good shot of some refugees lying on the ground or, 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 or whether she genuinely hates these people and just wants to kick them is not the point. Mm -hmm. The point is she's standing there. These people are trying to you know, do something and get out of mm -hmm. you know, war-torn Syria, and she's over there kicking them like an idiot. <laughs> I mean, anyway, she helped him out, and uh, he should send her a thank you note. And... Maybe a soccer ball. I don't know. Like she did. She yeah. helped him out in, inadvertently. So. Right, so she's the one that kind of got kicked in the end, huh? She, did, she is the one that got kicked in the end. Well, one of many, but one of the very few actually happy endings. Um, uh, so it's nice to see this. I know a lot of people were talking about this. It got a lot of... Uh, Got a lot of attention on social media especially, so I thought it was important to kind of follow up and see what this guy was up to. I think um, he's very happy, his sons are very happy, uh, so I just think it's an all-around feel-good story. Mm -hmm. So very happy to see this happen. Let us know what you guys think about the Spain taking him in and giving this, him a job as a soccer coach because, like they said, we show solidarity because we are colleagues. I think that's awesome. Let us know in the comments below, and if you haven't already, subscribe to the Lip TV 2 for more.